Hey there, my name is Liana and I am sharing with you the one significant learning for today like how I usually do on these daily live Facebook videos. So when I embark on doing these daily live Facebook videos, I actually intended to be real, be authentic. That was the initial intention. Oh my goodness, I forgot to switch. <laughs> I forgot to mute my phone, sorry about that. Hi, Mr. Husband. Thank you so much for joining me live. <laughs> So, um, where was I? Why I decided to do this daily live Facebook video since the beginning of 2018 was to actually be real, be authentic and share what's on my mind every single day. And it developed into sharing with you the one significant learning every single day because I'm, I love to learn and I practice what I learn. So because of that, things had helped life has taken for taken for a turn for me and is better syukur alhamdulillah i'm really really grateful for it so today's significant learning that i would like to share with you is that big dreams can begin in small spaces or places because many people thought that in order for you to dream big or to do something which is more than yourself, you got to have the resources, you got to have your means. But irregardless, what I learned in my journey by far is that you have to begin somewhere. And to begin somewhere is not with all the resources that you have. I don't know if you get what I mean, but you got to begin somewhere with what you have at the moment and not just wait until things are perfect or things are more than you will want to execute on something that you wish to do. Okay, so uh, before I go on giving you the tour on my humble home, I would like to actually give you a, a heads up actually because this video is going to be longer. Why I am sharing you with you this is because I want to retain the memory that is one. Secondly, I always believe in staying humble and putting your feet on the ground. So knowing where you come from and remembering it every single day will not make you, what did they say? In, in Malay, we call it riak in a way. So I would want to not be like that. So it retains the humility in you in a way and thirdly why i'm sharing with you this is for the benefit of some of my friends who are not living in singapore or for those of you who might be living in singapore but have not seen a rental flat a hgb rental flat here in singapore this is a treat for you because you do not need to be in my position to stay here <laughs> okay it's nothing bad to be honest okay but okay let me just remove my phone from the stand first and I will bring you out so I can show you exactly where. If some of you know or have not known yet, um, my feature, uh, my story was featured on one of these Beyond Socials, Beyond Family Services here in Singapore. And they, okay, they took a picture of me here. So this is exactly where I stand when they took the picture. You can see behind? Okay, I'm going to turn the camera so you can see how the neighbourhood is like. All right, this is how it looks like down there. When I look down, there you go. There's the, can the entry there. And this particular block of flats in front of me right now is also, okay, it's a mix actually, a mix of those who have purchased the flat and those who are renting it out directly from the Housing of Development Board in Singapore, HDB for short. And they, okay, it's a mix, but all of these units over here are all two-room flats as well. Just two rooms. And you can, you will, unless you are in this space, you will be surprised how many people can actually fit in a two-room flat. We are talking about, um, how many, correct me if I'm wrong, about 600 square meters of room, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Let me just turn back the camera for you guys. So that will be the walkway where I usually walk from if I were to take the lift up. Yeah, I don't have much space in my home so I put all my kid stuff and the bicycles outside when we are out. Let me close this gate. This is how it looks like. Okay, I know. 
it's very messy <laughs> but i'm being real right so welcome to my home yeah so this is my humble home small 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 i will show you more but this is where we will step this is where we will be at when we step in from the door okay in order for me to make my place conducive and practical after i remarried <laughs> me and mr husband actually decided to let go of the sofa that was once here and then we threw it out and just you know um clear up the space just have one table here and we make use of these cushion seats to actually sit around when we want to have our meal and yes i used to have um what you call it i used to have a dining table here but we also decided to let go of it because we want to create more space okay let me show you around more so remember i usually do my daily life facebook videos so i'll make use of this stand this camera stand courtesy or sponsored by my husband <laughs> and this is the space where i call it my little home office so this is where i run my business majority of it i do have an office a shared office and also i sometimes work in client offices as well and here's my laptop i show you my <laughs> chrome um home page it's very nice because this one if you want you can actually download it from your chrome extension it's called momentum i can perhaps give you the link down later on and every day it will give you a different scenario i love these scenes you know like the different kind of landscapes so it's like it looks like as if you're looking out the window and they also give you daily code like this growth is painful change is painful but nothing is as painful as things stuck somewhere you don't belong very motivating right inspiration i would say ah, okay oh hello hello for those of you who just joined me live hanafi Muhammad. Um, Rasida, Mr. Husband, and Marika, thank you for joining me live. I'm just giving you a tour of the small space. Marika says, similar small space to where I, li I first lived as a child in Tokyo. Yep, I think um, the sp uh, small space here is similar to those in Tokyo and also to in Hong Kong, if I'm not wrong. Or perhaps they are smaller. Okay, so here used to be my dining table. Okay, this is full disclosure, okay? Here used to be my dining table, but after I got married and then the husband decided to live with us before we got our new home, this is where me and Mr. Husband sleeps. I have my care bear there. <laughs> my lovely care bear. Because while we sleep outside in the living room, in fact, we give this one room to our children. So this is where my teenager son will sleep in. That is where my daughter will sleep in. Hmm, that bed is not made, but that's another story. <laughs> okay, let me just remove this to give more light for you guys to see the room. Okay, so that is how it looks like. There you go. So this is my children's room. In fact, this is the only room we have, so we give it to our children. So teenagers, boys sleeps here. My young eight-year-old daughter sleeps here. And this is my cupboard. Um, let me see. Okay, this is my children's cupboard, and we created actually a small space at the corner here to keep some of our luggages and stuff because we are moving out, right? So we keep some stuff. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello. Okay, so this room is where my children sleeps in. So two room flat, right? So one is the living space here. That's the door where you can enter in. Here's the living space that we have. No so far because we threw it out. We need more space for five, five person family. A family of five. <laughs> this one is my laundry. Later on, I will need to fold it up. Here's where I sleep. And let me bring you into our kitchen. So this is our kitchen here. I know, messy, sorry. I still got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to clear. 
because we are moving out soon. So there you go. It will usually be empty down here. But what we did was we bought this particular metal part here from IKEA. And then we uh, installed it down there. So the this metal, this sink base here will not be loose. So it kind of, this metal part here and this um, plank kind of like support it. Can you imagine some of the family who's living here without the resources that we have may find some difficulties, right? Okay, so this cabinet was actually um, gifted to me from my mother as she moved out to a new home. So this is where I keep all my air fryers, rice cooker, and the flask, my dry stuff. I use an induction cooker to cook. We used to have a... Okay, let me turn. We used to have a... What do you call that? Um, a gas stove where we use the HDB gas for us to use fire to cook. But because we had one incident which nearly burned the house and we got to actually put out the fire on time. So we ended up, okay, no, 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 no. We don't want to have the risk. So we decided to use indu induction cooker instead. So that was why the change that we had. Okay, let me show you some more up here. Okay, because this is a rental unit, right? So we can't have any cabinets, you know, like the closed cabinets where you keep all your food storages. So they give you... The HDB itself uh, installed this kind of shelving, so you just make do with what you have. You can't um, build your own cabinet or what's not. So, so yeah, that's my food ration at the moment. Okay, here's my dry things, places where I keep all my supplements. And yeah, I need lots of boxes. Lots, lots of boxes. Do you guys know where we can find boxes? <laughs> Because I need to move home, so I only want boxes to actually pack some of my stuff. Not a, not really a lot, but a couple more. If you know, please do comment below. Let me know where I can find more boxes. I don't mind if it's second hand. It's just to help us to ship some stuff. Okay, so this is the boxes. Haha, <laughs> this used to be my dining table where I actually put it in the living room. But because we need to make space, right? And put our bed instead so this is where the dining table go now <laughs> righty so here is where i do my laundry laundry here top and from here i can see view the good thing about my kitchen here is that it's pretty breezy but of course you can sometimes see some people from the unit opposite <laughs> as you're doing the laundry okay that's my laundry stuff and this is the toilet. Ta-da! Very, very small toilet, huh? This particular water heater, we only got it when my husband actually got it for us. But uh, without so, normally, normally we can actually, um, <clears throat> normally me and my children, when I was a single mom last time, we do not have hot water. So what we did was, we actually, um, what do we do? We bathe in, we shower in cold water, to be honest. But sometimes when the weather is very, very, very cold, because sometimes it's raining here in Singapore, right? And it's very, very, very cold. So what we did was, what I did was, I boiled water from the hot water flask or from the pot, and I throw it in a pail and mix it with the tap water so that my children will not shiver when they are showering. So that was the kind of struggle that we actually have and it is quite an experience because it humbles you and it really molds you into a, a, a character actually. Let me see what you guys have here. Tim, someone commenting. Hanafi said, I use this as well because it's like from very motivational, it hides a Chrome default screen for my clients. <laughs> oh yes, Hanafi, uh, you are referring to the Chrome, right? Which is on the desktop screen. Yeah, the momentum. It's cool, actually. It's very motivational. Oh, hello. My brother is watching. Okay, let me just give a shout out to people who's watching, actually. Mama Faisal, Mr. Husband. Rasida Binti Ahmad, thank you so much for joining me live. Hanafi, thank you so much for watching. Hanafi Muhammad Sam, did I get it correctly? Marika, Marika, thank you so much for joining. Um, Arukas Niribas, Danny Fidel, which is my brother. 
Hello, Mr. Danny. No, Arlia Razali. Karen Lim. Okay, Karen mentioned to me, can try asking from NTC or those supermarkets to see if they can give it to you. Oh, you mean the cardboard boxes, is it? Hmm. Good note. I will try. I will try. Sarah BV. Hi. Thank you for watching. Caroline De Batista. Oh, hi, Caroline. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so there it is. I give you a little tour of the small space here in Singapore that I have called home for seven years already. And wait, wait, not seven. 2011 until 2018. Oh, yeah, correct. Seven. Seven years. I've lived here since 2011. After the whole fiasco of me being homeless, getting discovered, going to shelter from shelter, giving birth to my third child and with a baby and two toddlers, and we are in this home. So this is where I really started to learn on how to be better in life and that is to start with my own self-development journey. So why I'm sharing with you how a two-room rental flat here in Singapore looks like is because <coughs> I'm sorry to let you know that big dreams can begin in small spaces. I started all my tech startups from here, from this very same roof, from this very same small table and this very same one laptop. And I keep on upgrading myself so that, you know, um, if, you get, you are, if you conform and you just stay stuck to where you are, you will keep on just staying stuck and you will not progress as how you wish things will to be better for you. So there you go. And if you want to know more about my story, perhaps like what Beyond Social Services has, post, has posted and what I've posted before, you can click on the link in the video description which I've inserted. Or, okay, wait, let me see if I can actually include it in here. Uh, wait, I clicked the wrong box just now. <laughs> there you go. So you can click on that link to actually have a read on um, all the other stories that I've posted. So there it is, you guys. I'm going to leave, let you watch the replay because the replay will show you more of what I've shown you just now because this is live. I can't turn back time. But again, thank you so much for those of you who's watching me, who have joined me today on this beautiful Sunday on this live Facebook videos. Thank you so much. I hope you got something out of it. And for those of you who's going to watch the replay, do give me a thumbs up and the hearts if the significant learning for today does help you. The significant learning which says that big dreams can begin in small places. Alrighty, so this is Liana signing off. Have a good Sunday to the rest of you. And I hope you begin your week with more tenacity and energy rolling down ahead. So this is Liana signing off. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you in the next video tomorrow. Thanks.